Good day, everybody. This is Dave Vellante. We're here at Wikibon headquarters in beautiful Marlboro, Massachusetts, and we're here to talk Flash. Flash is taking the storage world by storm. Uh, EMC started it all in 2008 when it landed a haymaker by incorporating enterprise flash drives into its Symmetrix system at the high end. Now, we all have been in this industry, those of us who have been in this industry for a long time remember, you know, back in the 1980s, there were solid state disks. This is different. This is, we're talking about persistent flash now coming into play at prices that are incredibly affordable. And we're very excited to have uh, a number of guests today. We're going to start off with Mark Sorensen. Mark runs uh, EMC's Flash business unit. He's the senior vice president and general manager of that division. Mark, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Great to be here, Dave. How are you? Good, thank you. Good to see you again. You know, we've known each other for a long time. And uh, Many years. You're, you're moving up the stack, as it were, right? You did a lot of work in, in the archive and the backup space and really got EMC's business going there. And now you're sort of on to a new project. Yeah, in, uh, in uh, February of uh, 2011, Pat Gelsinger came to me and uh, asked me to form a new business unit called the Flash Business Unit. At the time, I had uh, just wrapped up the uh, VNX project. Uh, I, before this, we, uh, I ran the uh, engineering organizations for Clarion and Solera, which soon became the VNX engineering organization. So I was ready for a new gig after that. That was very successful, and um, uh, that's doing uh, extraordinarily well. And so when he came up to me, he said, you know, I want you to start a flash business unit. I was taken aback a little bit because he, even, even how close I was to the flash business, uh, because we, we had done so much uh, software automation around Flash and uh, we were selling so much uh, Flash in our storage arrays, I wasn't quite sure, is this really something um, that that warranted a business unit? And of course, as I educated us myself and what we're trying to do and we'll describe perhaps uh, this morning, uh, clearly it is an important uh, uh, business for EMC. Yeah, so take us inside of EMC, because we, you know, we had Pat Gelsinger on theCUBE in May of this year, and he candidly said, you know, we fell behind some of the other guys that were out there. We started it all in 2008, and uh, we shouldn't let that happen, and presumably that's why he went to you and said, okay, we really need to, yeah. to, to, to go for it. So take us inside of EMC and, and share with us how this all came about. Yeah, and I think you have to really bifurcate the flash business in terms of how it's deployed. Uh, where we're clear leaders in flash and the storage arrays. Right. We started in 2008, as you just described, uh, deploying Flash in Symmetrics, and then shortly thereafter in our BNX platforms. Um, you know, went through uh, all of the shakeouts of, of getting the performance and the quality, and of course cost, which has continually gone down, uh, dealing with that angle, and became pretty successful. Where it really took off is when we began to introduce software that helped automate um, the leverage and use of Flash by placing the hottest data um, on flash devices, cold their data on, on, on spinning disk. And so this was the introduction of FAST, fully automated storage tiering. And then subsequent, and that was in 2009. In 2010, we introduced Fast Cache. And Fast Cache is basically uh, providing an extension to your DRAM cache with a lower cost uh, flash based cache in the VNX platform. And those two software products that really allowed you to most effectively um, and efficiently use Flash, so no longer manually trying to guess what's the hottest data, what's the working set that you want in, in Flash. It automatically did that by understanding your I.O. Uh, workloads, understanding what's hot, what's not, and moving that to the appropriate tier of storage. So if you look at Flash in the storage arrays, I mean, clearly uh, we are the, the leaders. In 2011, uh, we shipped more than 25 petabytes of flash, far and away more than uh, anyone in the industry. And if you think about fast, um, in 2012, we estimate we have over 1.3 exabytes under management flash. So <coughs> tremendous success in the, in the storage array. But I think what uh, Pat was referring to where we, we kind of, um, uh, maybe not took our eye off in the ball, but fell behind a little bit was flash in the server. Okay, uh, we've seen you know some uh, startups like Fusion IO really getting out in front of that in leveraging Flash in the server to really provide um, uh, extreme performance, um, leveraging Flash, uh, and, and so so this was one of the reasons why we formed the Flash business unit, and uh, why we recently announced our first product from this business unit, uh, VF Cache. So, what is the Flash? 
business unit. Talk about that a little bit. What are the what are the products in there and sort of the the, the scope? So so the flash business unit has multiple responsibilities. Number one is really for the overarching strategy of uh, EMC's flash uh, flash technologies and business. Um, <clears throat> we remain uh, at the forefront of working with our partners that provide flash products and technologies. And as you well know, there's a tremendous amount of, of uh, flash vendors out there. Uh, we produce flash-centric products, the first of which is VF Cash. And I know uh, uh, Aptomy, Danny, and Barry will talk in great detail of VF Cash. Uh, in, in short, it is, uh, it is leveraging uh, PCI-based flash as a uh, cache in front of EMC storage arrays, effectively adding another tier of storage, a caching tier, to our FAST strategy. So if you look at our FAST strategy, you've got in the storage array, you've got flash uh, for high performance, you've got fiber channel for your warm, medium data, and then you've got uh, nearline SATA devices for cold data, great economics, great performance. We've now augmented and extended that by leveraging flash in the server. So now you have an ultra high performance tier, a caching tier where you get the best performance that you could possibly get using flash close to the CPU on the PCI bus, but all of the protection and intelligence that an EMC backend storage array with fast and other capabilities offers. So that's our first product. We are uh, building um, other products as well, uh, nothing that we're uh, willing to um, <clears throat> share too publicly. I'll give you some hints. Uh, yeah, show us a little leg here. Come on. So uh, a project which, uh, well, you, you know, we've the, the code name for uh, uh, for VF Cash was Lightning, and as you well know, uh, what, uh, what what follows Lightning is thunder. Right? We all know that. Uh, if you've gone to, if you're a meteorologist fan or what have you, and so we do have a project called Thunder, and it is. It is, as you could call it, to some degree, the big brother of Lightning. It's more shareable. It's more scalable. Um, it deals with not only reads uh, but writes. Uh, very high-end, high performance for those applications that require the utmost in terms of low latency. And so that's that's kind of again, you know, thunder follows lightning. And we got a few other things up our sleeves. Mark, it was interesting to hear you when you were describing the initiative um, around, uh, you know, VF and what we would call Project Lightning before the announcement. You talked a lot about software. Now, uh, so your business unit develops new products as well as yes. you have to leverage existing products like Fast within EMC. Is that correct? It's correct. Okay, and so are, are you guys a P&L? Uh, well, we do, it, we, we, we do have a, a profit and loss statement, that's right. We are measured as a business uh, in terms of expense and, and revenue. Yeah, so the interesting thing about the strategy, if I understand it with, with your approach, is you're, it's not a rip and replace. You're really trying to extend the, 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 the I.O. stack, if you will, toward the server. You talked about that earlier. Um, what happens to the existing storage infrastructure? What are you telling your customers uh, the Symmetrics customers, the VNX customers? Well, if you look at those those customers, right, uh, certainly performance is a, is a critical attribute of, of uh, the, uh, the need uh, for uh, uh, storage and information management. Uh, but just as critical, and, and to some degree more critical, is uh, availability, scalability, the reliability, um, and, and the disaster recoverability of your information. If you ask any corporation what's their two most important assets, it's their information and it's their people. And so while performance is very important, performance means nothing if you don't have those other itties, if you will. Uh, obviously, uh, our customers want us to take their existing investment uh, in uh, VMAX and VNX and Isilon and to leverage new technologies to extend and integrate it into uh, those highly reliable, well proven environments, environments that uh, they've uh, they've got a lot of investment in, whether it's training their storage administrators and managing it, um, uh, cu uh, customizing their applications to take advantage of it and leverage it, et cetera. So, so it's not a rip and replace, you know, it's an augmentation and extension of the existing environments and, and really leveraging the best of, of uh, both the new technology as well as the dependability of our existing platforms, which frankly our customers have invested a lot of money in, 
and uh, and uh, it's uh, been proven over many many years. So, do you see f Flash becoming the home for all active data over time? Um, well, so so I think I think there's a couple things here, right? I think I think uh, you will see Flash uh, leveraged uh, predominantly for any data that requires some sort of high performance. Uh, now, where you cut that line in terms of is it active data, is it hot data, you know, to some degree that's that, you know, what we do is give, give uh, customers the choice, okay, by using leveraging uh, fast technology, you can kind of decide how much high performance infrastructure you, you want to place on, on uh, for your environments. And then we know that if you, and we know this because we live this every day, is that, you know, data, not all data is created equal. Uh, and not all data stays in terms of its importance and its use uh, static over time. Over time, things age, they go out of, uh, they become cold, yet in many cases you need to re re uh, keep those and retain that data for years and years and years. And so our strategy is really is the right, right uh, infrastructure at both cost and performance. So, so you know, we're, we're not extremists, right? Some extremists, you know, will say, you know, uh, all flash for every s single thing, and so that, well, it sounds interesting, and and uh, uh, at the at the end of the day, if you look at the economics, and you really, you have to really look very carefully at the economics because there's lots of folks out there playing uh, pretty fast and loose with the facts, and and they'll they'll make claims that uh, you know their their uh, newfangled storage arrays can be just as economically. Um, viable as a flat as uh, spinning disk storage arrays, uh, but when you look back on the covers, it requires extraordinary results in deduplication. Meaning, you know, the average you know ratios of deduplication are not going to get you there. It requires lots and lots of uh, funny things, unproven things on how they uh, deal with RAID. They ignore the replacement factors, particularly if they're claiming they're going to use consumer MLC of you know pulling out disks and sticking them back in as if it's almost a consumable, and putting aside whether or not customers actually want that and want, want uh, that type of data center there. So there's a lot of fast and looseness with the facts. I think, I think at the end of the day, uh, spinning disks don't go away, certainly not in yours or my lifetime. Um, you just look at the, the numbers, uh, flash costs, well, they have come down tremendously uh, since we introduced them in 2008. Uh, you never see a crossover point uh, with, uh, with hard disks, hard disks doing a great job with density, right? And of course, we see, we see flash um, getting less expensive. We're seeing smaller lithographies, but of course, with those small lithographies comes issues, issues with endurance and indeed issues with, with performance. So I think, again, uh, you know, we try to take a balanced approach, not an extremist approach uh, that some of the, the startups are uh, taking. And I think our customers who've depended on EMC in this logical, straightforward manner um, uh, really are embracing it. So uh, you're basically saying that the customer decides or defines essentially what active data is and what goes on flash as a function of both performance and cost requirements, right? That's right. And, 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 the, and the role of the SAN maybe changes, maybe not, depending on what that economic and performance uh, value equation well, is. Well, I, I, I think you're seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, I think you're seeing uh, you know, data move closer to servers and servers moving closer to data. And so, as we as we drop a, uh, a PCIe flash card uh, into a server, controlling it through fast and other capabilities, acting as that read cache in front of uh, our storage arrays, we're getting closer to the server. And one of the reasons why we do that is because we get better performance, right? If I'm sitting on on a on a on a flash on a PCIe bus with my flash card, and I'm serving up right uh, reads from there. I'm going to get the best performance I, I possibly could. So it's kind of a physics thing, right? Yet on the back end, I mean, all the investment customers have with their SRDF deployments for disaster recovery and their their data protection scenarios with data domain or Avamar, all of that stuff is extraordinarily important. You just can't throw it out, right? It's just 
appraise and do so. And so we try to give kind of a balanced approach and a more systemic system view versus just kind of a one-trick pony approach. So that leads me to my last question for you. Is EMC a systems company um, or a storage products company? Well, I, th I think we are a solutions company and we provide storage and information solutions across an increasingly broad spectrum of, uh, of uh, solving more and more problems. And, and some of this obviously is a natural evolution. And I think Flash is really a natural evolution. Uh, others are going into more adjacent markets like big data, uh, which we've uh, found to be very compelling and very interesting. So I, I, would, I, would, I would call us a solutions company. Certainly our portfolio has gotten extraordinarily broad. Uh, we're solving more and more problems that, uh, that we haven't in our, in our, in our, in our past. And I, and I think you know you'll see more of that over the coming years and months. Yeah, we hadn't we have we didn't get into the big data thing. I want to do that with uh, with Dan and Barry. But I mean, you're really seeing new types of applications emerge, and Flash is enabling a lot. Absolutely, of that, absolutely. And Flash is certainly uh, when you think about scale out web applications, but also your bread and butter Oracle databases, SQL databases. It's really dealing with both, and and Flash certainly helps with the scale out. Uh, applications that we're seeing in the 2.0 web uh, environment. Exciting times, uh, f f follow Mark Sorensen, right? You were at the heart of the, the, the data protection business and that took off at EMC, the whole mid-range unified business taken off. You're now at the epicenter of what, what I think is the most exciting trend in, in storage and that's that intersection of software and flash-based architectures and so uh, congratulations on getting this off the ground thanks, and your new Dave. role at EMC and thanks for coming inside theCUBE. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody, thanks for watching.